Hi there guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at a Halal Ration by Sopaco Inc. in Mullins. And this particular one is from 2018. Right there, 74th day, 2018. On our main. So this one is on the recipe of what is good. Although, we've got the third day of 2019 there, so... A little bit of a difference. Let's crack this one open and see what we've got. We have got a peelable seal. But we're not going to bother with that today. Let's see what we've got inside. So straight off the bat, it's our little cardboard box. We've got our halal beef roast with vegetables. This pouch only contains 190 calories. 227 grams. Not a lot really. And the butterscotch pudding contains 210 calories. That's more than our main. Next, we've got cranberries osmotic. We have got jalapeno cashews. Tropical fruit flavoured, no fruit juice punch. Very clear date stamp there, 23rd day 2018. A pack of chocolate chip cookies in a not very good bag. And I'm guaranteed you these are rancid. We've also got some barbecue corn nuggets. I won't be surprised if they've gone as well. We have our flameless Russian heater and our accessory kit. Contains our standard issue spoon. Toilet paper. Real toilet paper after that. Oh, bog drop. Two sugars. Although I don't know why because we've got no coffee. Salt and pepper. White tip matches and standard tissue. Right, let's get all this onto the tray. Okay, so I've had a look at the beef with roast vegetables. You've got beef and modified food starch right on the top white line, and then we go through everything else, even grill flavour. Look at that, shocking. But we get all the way down here. So we get another ingredient like mushrooms, potatoes. I mean, seriously, that's a lot of crap before you get to your next ingredient. But it is made to keep you going. Right, here is our US MRV heater. Do not overfill. There's your rock or something. Nearly put the butterscotch in then, that would not have been good. Yeah, the beef with the vegetables are turning into pretty much a solid block, so I had to give it a good knead beforehand, otherwise the heat may not have permeated through to everything. this back in its box. Because they were good for that. Looks like our cashews wants to open up next. 14 day 2019. There's nearly a year between some of these components which is strange. They don't smell too bad actually. We get 108 calories from those. Barbecue corn nuggets, what do we get from these? 267.9 calories. Wow. They smell a little stale actually. And barbecue, obviously. And cranberries, osmotic. Means they've been permeated with sugar and some flour oil. You can never open these at the best of times, but when you've got a strain thumb, it really doesn't help.
that's not working very well. And chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, they're they're bad. That's a shame that is. I can smell the chocolate coming through, but the cookies themselves are bad. That's barely working at all. Let's give it a bit longer. have our bright red powder. Tropical. It's just like Kalon. You can hear that going a little bit now. And our butterscotch pudding. Feels a bit lumpy, in all fairness. And that delaminated a little. Ugh, wild stuff. Right. There we go. Right then guys, I'm going to give this just a little touch longer. Because it's uh, not the best. We'll try everything else though while we're at it. Let's start with cranberries osmotic. Now we know that these have been infused sunflower oil. And they do feel... Greasy, greasy. They smell old. They smell rather stale. Still smell like cranberries, but yeah, they don't taste the great. The cookies are stale and rancid. And you know this because you can smell like paint stripper. But damn, do they look tasty. Yeah, they're not being eaten. Shame. I've had this box 18 months tops. It wasn't the freshest when I bought it. Let's try our barbecue corn nuggets. Still smell like barbecue-y, greasy. We've got that orange colour that we used to see. But surprisingly, they're still actually pretty good. They're tasty. And, yeah, you can tell I'm leaving that till last. Cashews. I do like a nice cashew. Jalapeno cashews. Not the easiest thing to find in the UK. I lift it to here and I can already smell the jalapeno on them. Very tasty. Although Whitworths do do a jalapeno cashew, I think it's with something else. I've got a pack in the cupboard. Now, whilst they are quite spicy, I do like that. They are also okay. So in this pack so far, it's just the uh, cookies that are definitely a big no-no. And the cranberries that aren't great. Those of you that regularly watch my videos know that I'm not a great big pudding fan. I mean, look at it. It's so just gelatinous. It's like baby food. I'll do like Aldi's. Chocolate protein pudding. But in the interest of the video, we will take a small amount. Nope. No, 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 no. Do not like, you know what? No, I'm going to wash that down first. Something else I don't like, but I'll drink it. It's not the biggest fan. Tropical flavour punch. Looks like something. Well, it looks perfect for Halloween, doesn't it? Although I will say the butterscotch pudding, as vile as it is, it does taste like butterscotch. It is still creamy. It is still smooth. It does still look like peanut butter. But yeah, still not one for me. Whilst you can still taste all the flavour in that punch, it is going stale. You can taste the staleness. Okay, now this took a while to get going. do have another pan up there. Makes it so much easier. 
to get them out. Look at that. This started heating up the top and worked its way down. It took a long time for that bottom panel there to get hot. It is very hot now, but hard to get going. Okay, so this does feel relatively hot. I'm glad I broke it up. It's not the hottest I've ever had. And it is hot at one side, so that's probably to do with that pouch not working. If you're out in the field, you just eat it straight from the bag. But I know you guys want to see what it's all about. There we go. Beef with vegetables. Seems though it's not very many calories, we do want to get it all out. There we go. We can see we've got some carrots, we've got our little potato chunks. But the amount of beef in here is rather astounding. I am very impressed with that. Mushrooms, I love beef and mushrooms. Especially in the curry from the Chinese. Right, let's get a bit of everything. There we go guys. Some money shot. That's what it tastes like. That has not held up at all. Oh my god. That just made me heave. Massive mouthful as well. It's such a shame because I was really looking forward to that. Yeah, that is turning. That is going. Not a great taste at all, guys. Such a shame. So overall, we've got three missed. Three hit out of this one. Didn't hold up at all, did it? Never mind. Right then, guys. Please like. Share, subscribe, hit that bell button and you'll know when I put a new video. But most importantly guys, stay safe. I'll be back with you soon for more eats, treats and MREs.